Hi, John here. Today is Saturday, the 16th of July 2016. I want to finish off what I was um, filming yesterday with Boris uh, Johnson, the new uh, Foreign Secretary of State and Britain, UK government, and um, <coughs> also the new Prime Minister um, of Britain. UK, Theresa May. Unfortunately for Andrea Bledsham, she missed out, but she might feature later. And my estimation um, is who I preferred, only because of uh, Theresa's May, Theresa May's connections with uh, Israel and the violence that is going on there, and also connections to the EU Parliament still which may sway over that um, which UKIP has set up to keep Britain as Britain and not so much Britain going into the EU. But nevertheless, um, um, UKIP will certainly be um, pushing for Lidsom to be the Prime Minister at some later stage, date. So in the meantime, it's um, Theresa May, the uh, Prime Minister of Britain, that I need to get in touch with as far as we're concerned with our flag of uh, Admiralty, where the martial law has been abused in America, and just about to come here to New Zealand. One of the representatives from there <coughs> will be visiting here and um, more than likely be introducing uh, some sort of law or um, take over uh, under the uh, Obama administration and Hillary Clinton and their uh, um, onslaught of American people uh, with the ISIS and with the Muslim um, um, people. Uh, now terrorising American people. So that does concern us uh, with anybody coming here with threats of um, that nature on our lands with martial law. Uh, we forbid that from happening here uh, and um, in no way will we allow John Key, the Prime Minister of New Zealand, to introduce any foreign law that's repugnant to our law with this flag and Britain, the new Britain um, partnership with our commerce and uh, native chiefs, Waitangi Marae, King's Bench Court. As far as I'm concerned, we are now operating a business as if it was 1835, the time of this flag with King William IV jurisdiction of martial law and Admiralty Court martial law. So that's what I wanted to, to say. Apart from that, I've been uh, watching videos on the Jesuits um, and their um, behaviour in the um, um, FBI, uh, Comey's um, investigation panel, the panel there uh, of attorneys. Um, finding out why Hillary Clinton wasn't arrested. So it's driven by hand signs of those Jesuits and I can see clearly there are hand signals in that court um, finding, hearing um, of the Senate and uh, uh, Trey Gowdy and the other um, um, Senates senators um, conducting the investigation of Hillary Clinton uh, emails. <clears throat> so I can see clearly that the Jesuits, the Masons, the Freemasons are involved with fraud and corruption in the political system right through the world and it's coming from France. It's the French and the Jesuits and Masons there that are corrupting the whole 
political system in Westminster and EU Parliament. I got great concerns about that um, for our own native here on our lands where the Jesuits have come in here from Scottish right. That's what it is. Uh, Jamie to my uh, secretary, Jamie, um, Anna Marie Stewart, Patrick. Uh, she's got two names there, the Patrick and the Stewarts. The Stewarts are in the Scottish rights. Uh, the Stewarts, U-A-R-T, S-T-U-A-R-T, Stewarts, and then to the S-T-E-W-A-R-T in Scotland and Ireland, where that joined up there. So there's a number of things going on inside the Patrick name with the eight-point star of these uh, Pope, the Jews, the Scottish, and the French. Those people have fashioned this Jesuit oath order in courts to corrupt the normal court system and the churches. They have hijacked the Catholic Church with the Popes, and I can see clearly now from a Maui point of view and King William where they are getting their Admiralty martial law from that will shut it down immediately from what I see them behaving like that in law. I'm looking at it from a law point of view of the Confederation of Chiefs here in native partners to Britain, UK, where the authority of higher authority of shipping come from, not from the Jesuits, but from the original Westminster Parliament law. So we're going back in time under those laws of King William III. He demolished King James out of the Westminster Parliament off the throne. Now that's what's going to happen again. The King William III took the throne back and King William IV and Ernest Augustus came along and kept that going under this law of commerce and banking and also uh, land. All of those land laws, 1830 to 1837, applies to anybody who is crooking the system. We can see now from Hillary Clinton's case very clearly that there is interference of law inside that courthouse uh, um, by these Jesuits. I'm going to identify them and put them right in front of this flag and King William IV and King William III back into King James to out the Catholic off Westminster again and put in, install King Ernest Augustus V back into the throne and boop Queen Elizabeth Scott Scottish out. The Scottish are the problem. The Scottish are the problem right behind all this fraud corruption of the whole Parliament system in Westminster and right through the world for that matter and the French. You are liable now under this flag. You are liable from what I'm seeing in evidence to put up against you in Waitangi, what I, King's Bench Court, straight into the High Court of Admiralty in London. So, Boris Johnson, it's your responsibility as a partner to us, the Secretary of Foreign Secretary of State, you are our partner to get that right. There is fraud inside those states. France is pulled out in front and Scotland is pulled out, put on a pedestal in front of this court. The court here I'm talking about is the court that Queen Elizabeth has been using as a monarch and defrauded our Marae, the Waitangi Marae, King's Bench Court, and my chiefs. So I'm using Moai statue, God's face, truth, to come up against you and your Scottish right. It's right in front of Moai face and King William the third face again to boot King James out off the throne in England and the Queen, Scotland out. I've seen enough to make my own assessment for my chiefs right through the world 
in the indigenous countries that you have demolished, demolished their customs and their laws with your alien law, Jesuit oath, killing and poisoning and all the rest of the bad things is coming back to haunt you. That's what I'm saying here on this video in front of the whole world. I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed with you people, you white people from Scotland coming here to do that to us with your Jesuits and Mohi Manukau. I've got all his titles here for this country. The Scottish company, the Manukau Land Company, took these lands and fraud them to themselves. That's what I'm saying. The Stuarts were the first to go up north and in the Kaipara Harbour and took those lands because Mohi Monaco was a Freemason. Now, now the cookie crumbles and the penny drops. He spent six years with me going over all of these titles that the Scottish put together here and corrupted the whole system of our native lands right through the world off this model. That's why I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed that those are the families and my Rogan family. The Rogans married the Manukau's and married the Wanoors. And then the way they went with the land, the same Scottish right. Right? No Celtic or anything in that lot. They just stole the whole thing. That's what I'm saying. That's how strong the word is. Stole the land all over the world with the French in the South Island here and the Scottish in the North Island. That's how bad it goes. The church and state. You're liable now with this power note of King William IV and the Pattersons power note. The Bank of England acts under King William IV and the power note act under King William IV, 1834, liable to and build that lever you, levy you, people. Those names are put on site and with the Auckland titles on the land, the Manukau titles on these lands, and up north. I'm saying to King Itaurua, Chief of Waitangi Marae, King's Bench Court, that we pass these acts into law to bring the land back to the Hapu, to seize the land back to the Hapu off these Jesuits. The Jesuits, I'm watching these videos with this, this morning, <coughs> and seeing what you've been up to, what the church, you hijacked the church, you hijacked the Catholic Church and the Church of England, put them together, then away you went with these fraud titles. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Now, I'm just reading this, look. New UK Prime Minister Theresa May pledges loyalty to Israel. That's where, that's where all this fraud is, in Israel, America, and the French over there, and all their symbols. Hand signals, all these, and that sort of thing. And the Islam people come along, and they'll demolish all of that. The blacks, the blacks, all about blacks and all of that. You've screwed the blacks, the blacks are coming after you. That's just because of these Jesuits. They've stuffed the whole lot of the world up. That's what's happened here. All the honest people are trying to bring you to account, but you slip around, slide around like lizards to get off the court and threaten people. If they get in your road, you will shoot them and kill them. Right? There's so much things going on. I'm just giving an account of how I feel about our lands. I, I haven't gone on to my own lands yet, tied up with these Scottish rights on my own lands. I've got 30 blocks. I'm just getting one back now down the east coast. It's taken over 50 years just because they've come here and stuck their titles on through Mohi Manukau, right? He was just one of their family that probably didn't know too much about land titles until it was too late. He did all the surveying with his grandfather, uh, John Rogan, right? the judges of that day. I know, I know, I've got all their Scottish stuff here. The Freemasons, Grand Lodge, bro and this and bro and that. And this and that and this and that and that. All that stuff is evil on these lands. I'm offended 
by all those symbols on this land, including any other alien religion that's come here to screw this land and us, the people of New Zealand and our visitors. Okay, that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. I'm shocked with all these things, but I, I'm just, I put these things on my site this morning, but it's too graphic to go and talk about it, other than there's that guy there. Um, Vice U.S. Vice President Joe Biden to visit New Zealand next week. National News, New Zealand Herald News. Now, this is the guy that's coming here to bring his navy here to and NATO and their new world order law kicks in today, the 16th, in uh, 16th today, Saturday, 16th of July. The new world order, the Pope's new world order kicks in today, the Jesuits. This is what I'm talking about. The Jesuits are a big threat to the whole world. And this guy put the video together online to warn everybody. I'm watching those videos to see what the Jesuits are up to. They're getting caught. They're getting caught because they were in the courts, they were in the parliaments, they were in every law and every uh, construction, road construction, everything big. All the big countries that got tied up and the news media as well. So that's what I'm saying. It's going to dismantle itself when they start the riots, or all starting to riot now. The people in Germany are going against themselves in France. The French people, this is one for you on this video. Your government is corrupt, not you, the government. And their Catholic churches have been hoodwinked and has been hijacked. The best thing for you to do is boot them out, pick them up one by one, and strangle them out of the place, because that's what they do. They strangle you, they poison you, because they tell you that's what they'll do to you. So you do the same thing back to them. Pick them off one by one, because it's no good. And even in Spain, all the places where the money has been stacked up and stolen, all the properties and everything that has been the people's property has been stolen by way of arms and threatening parliaments uh, and their police and their NATO, all these new developments of armies of the Pope, right? The Pope has got 193 countries behind him that he pays to work for his armies, right? You see all those people in black clothes and all sorts that are going to where they came from, that's them. They're the ones that have been put together by this Pope to go and kill everybody off the land so they can have it right so that's 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 really what I'm what I'm uh, expressing here uh, as being I'm just trying to find this video exposed proof FBI director Comey threatened with the Masonic oath of silence for Hillary's crimes that's the video there I'm talking about and Cavalier Andrew Michael Ramsey that's the other video and this other one um, this video reading documents Jonathan Blanchard's introduction on how the creation of Masonic Scottish Rite heretical ritual was invented as the new religion. Beyond this information, it has also been said that Jews in Jerusalem gave the worship of John the Baptist skull dogma to the Knights Templars that bought those Gnostic Gnostic, Gnostic, or not Gnostic dogmas back to the Dark Ages. Roman Catholic Church, um, Roman Catholic Church, hard to prove this. But there is a longer history of Jews and Roman Catholics mingling together than what is mentioned in this video. Nevertheless, this information is important to know who America was corrupted by in these men. So that's what I'm saying. Um, Godsmack by looking at this video. Mind you, when I look at a video, it takes me a long time to, to like it, to like what I'm, I'm, I'm looking at, information, finding information that affects us here. Rose Croix Masonry, Jamaica and Cayman Islands. That's another one. That's part of these uh, investigations these guys are putting together. Etim Moran from Wiki. Oh, I don't know what that means, but it's... Protestant stuff that I'm saying to Jamie, all of your history is tied up here. 
if you didn't do anything about it, it will just run you over. And it's running from the Scottish right in France, not in Scotland, from France. So they've gone and conquered each other and they've ended up holding on to this Freemasonry that's gone out of England and gone to, started off in Scotland and it's ended up in France where they're holding it as their right to do what they want with people in their court system or over the top of normal court systems. That's what I'm saying. King William's got his own law. This is the martial law that Obama's using for these Jesuits. It's not their law. We're going to take it off them, people. It belongs to this flag and our chiefs here as partners. Since 1834, 1835, Declaration of Independence, this is a declaration of war flag. We can, we can summon the British military to go after anybody using this law, the martial law. That's what I'm saying. It's exhilarating stuff. This masonry stuff. Chevalier Andrew Michael Ramsay, Grand Lodge of British Columbia and Yukon Ancient Free and Accepted Masons website contains philosophy. So these are these ugly scenes of violence and war coming out of this. That's what they're there for. They're there to slit your throat. The oath, the Jesuits' oath says, I'll poison you, cut your guts out, pull your babies out and kill them. All those things are in this Scottish right. Jamie, not that you'll be ashamed of it, but it's your families that I'm looking at and doing it all. If I have to go to England myself to do it, I'm going by myself, but you were supposed to come with me to go and undo that side of your family here, otherwise it festers on if I don't do anything about it. Right? There's nobody can go above their flag of Admiralty. There's no one's going to go near it other than a native chief here in this country. And you have to know what you're doing. Otherwise you get one foot wrong and you're in trouble. So don't touch it if you don't know anything about it. I've seen some other flying this flag around don't know what it means. It's lethal. This flag is lethal if you don't get it right. And that's what I'm saying. Warn people. Never, ever touch any of these documents. They belong to the British military, the British Navy, and the Moai, King William, the fourth chiefs. Okay, that's our contract. You can't tamper with it or be third party to it because you'll get a warrant on your head and the British down your throat. Okay, so we're very annoyed, very annoyed with these Freemasons on our land. It's offensive for them and their Grand Lodge that Mohi Manikau was helping to sell the lands off as supposed to be for us. But no, it was for them. It was for all the Scottish people that sitting on the best parts of these land. You're going to get the bill on this flag. You're going to get the bill, every one of you, if you can't show me your title, how you got there, whose authority are you using other than King William IV and King William III, that kicks King James Catholic off the throne. So that's coming back up again. That that will come back up again. Now, I'll summons myself, King Ernest Augustus the Fifth, back to take King William the Third's place in the 1600s and clean your lot out, Jesuits, and all your filthy laws that Hillary Clinton's using and Obama is using to break the Constitution law of America. It's not the Americans' fault, it's those people in there fiddling around with law, our law, King's law. It's not your law, it's the King's law that you're fiddling around with, the martial law. It's not your law. It doesn't belong to the Jesuits. As I say, it's, you're threatening people's lives. You're assassinating people Doctors, nurses, lawyers, judges, you're threatening and selling that American lawyer, J. 
judge, whatever, he got killed. Salem. From these bastard Jesuits and Freemasons, Masons, and Jews. Jews, it's in this video. So I'm watching these videos. I'm going to watch every one of them and pull it into our court. The Queen has been using our Marae on our piece of land as her highest court in the world, Mama. Okay, I'm saying um, the Moai statue, God's law, truth. If you don't tell the truth, you're out. That's all it is, straight in the face. If I was in front of Comey, the director of FBI, if, you were, if I was in front of Comey, he'd be gone. He'd be gone straight out, off out of America under this flag. He'd be gone. And anybody in Westminster, if I'm standing there with the Moai statue of God's face, God's earth, God's truth, and you can't tell the truth, then you're out. Straight out. Straight, straight off the land, hung, and disposed of. Because you're a threat. The Queen is a threat. I'm saying to the British people, the Queen is a threat to Britain. The same way as David Cameron was. A threat to England and Britain, UK. Because he was, mine was in Europe over there with the Jesuits, right? Your mind's not there, you're over there. You want to trade, you're going to have to find your own way of trading with anybody who wants to trade with someone other than a king. To be on the safe side, this is a commercial flag to get us around the world. Theresa May, just to let you know, the people will decide under a king which way they're going to choose and who they're going to choose. Otherwise, there's riots. There's ever going to be rife with Jesuits. I'm saying the Jesuits are right people. The Jesuits are bad people because they want their own way and steal anything. They have no guts, no soul, no nothing. If you see one of those people acting like that, let us know. Let the other people know and we'll put it online so you can warn, warn people that there's one of them in the neighbourhood. Worse than a pedophile. Worse than a pedophile. Any of those Jesuits with their spikes on top of the hills, they'll be gone before long when these chiefs here get their hands on them. Right? They're offensive. The same with the Oblisk at the Treaty of Waitangi, 1840. That's one of theirs. Their obelisks they stole off Africa. They stole all those memorials off Africa and stole our Maui statue. The Queen is a Jesuit. German, Jew, Jesuit. That's all there is to it. She stole my Moai of East Ireland in 1868, took to England. That's when America lost its sovereignty to Britain. The Germans came in to England. Now England is by itself and Wales. Scotland has gone and abandoned England and Wales because it wasn't theirs in the first place. It was Wales and England is back to basics, back to normal because the Scottish, you can see, they've gone back where the other Jesuits are in Brussels. That's why um, um, Nicola Sturgeon is adamant that the EU Parliament is the way to go. Well, that's where the corruption and fraud is. You're going to get found out with this flag. Once this flag goes up in England, you're gone. You're gone because this is a higher law than what you've got in Scotland. Right? I'm just saying the Stuarts there, the old Stuarts, they put that Scottish right together. See, Scottish. Stuart, Scottish, not French. And you teamed up with the French and the Jews in France and away you went around the world to America and terrorised the whole place. That's where the terrorism comes from, you people. I'm holding to your account for it, Nicola. I'm holding you to account for all the terrorists in the world with this pound note, bill you. You'll get a bill from Westminster and from our chiefs here in New Zealand. That's why I'm talking this way because our people are warriors of war, and this is a war flag for pirates who temper 
with our information and our business with England and Wales and Britain, UK, those two countries. Okay? And we want the good Americans to join England and Wales and New Zealand and make a new Britain, UK. And boom! The Jesuits and all the other mongrels out of America and Obama back to Kenya. Kick them out. Right? That's what I want to say with this, this, this video. Uh, a bit strong, but that's the way I feel today. Uh, before I go down the East Coast on that land block there, one of 30 land blocks, <coughs> I'm hoping to get back off these Scottish people and put our people back in there where they belong. And therefore, all the absent owners that have gone over to find jobs around all around the world, well, these mongrels in Wellington, uh, like John Key, are administering our land for themselves, for their own private interests, and not the interests of New Zealanders, and us, especially us, the Hapu native. We're getting nothing out of it. He's getting it all. And this country, Winston Peters says, is 150 billion in debt. That just shows you that they're to screw everybody and leave them in debt all their lives. This is the only way to get you out of debt all around the world, is this way, because it is a debtor instrument flag. Okay? It's a creditor. That's what I'm saying. I want to make this point quite clear to the people in Britain. Your answer for freedom from the dreaded political system is this flag, right? It's a proper king's flag. There's no other king flag in the world. There's no other bank flag in the world. There's no other commercial contract flag in the world. There's no other contract, <coughs> private contract flag in the world. There's no military flag in the world protecting that business from a British military than this way. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm trying to say. Right. I'm going to go through this list I was going to put on the end of um, Boris um, Johnson yesterday. This is the last bit of it for you, Boris. After that harrowing speech that you were there now to go and appease all the other countries in trade um, and here in New Zealand as well. You talk to me. Don't talk to John Key because he's lying all the time and he's caught up in this Panama, Panama tax fraud here. He's saying there's nothing when there is. We're going to investigate, okay? So it started off like this. One, congratulations to you and to Theresa May and to you especially for the foreign policy and, and uh, as foreign secretary of, of state to deal with us here uh, in New Zealand and we have our own government here, native government here already. We just needed to get funded and off we go. Uh, okay, so we've got our own Prime Minister, Sunakora, here, and the um, Man uh, Manipoto and Napui ready to go, and they know what to do. They know what to do. I'm only here as speaking from being um, ambassador to, New to, to Britain from New Zealand. Okay? Two, you have with it the British political storm to now more foreign trade ahead from Britain in the face of the EU super one state control. So that means you've got control for Britain, by Britain, for Britain and nothing else. Three, Britain UK is no is lingering on Scotland leaving, exiting, made it clear. They made it clear they'll go with the remain EU with Northern Ireland and Ireland. Okay? So they've, they've basically gone and left it open for us to walk straight in with this flag. I want to come there, Boris, and walk straight into Britain, into Westminster with their flag. Um, it was um, Matt Taylor that introduced the flag to the gates of Buckingham Palace and Westminster Parliament, but they turned a blind eye up to it, but that may change now with Theresa May. To you, if you're watching this video, I want to come there. Please open the way for me to come there into Parliament with the other half of the contract you have with us. You're obligated to this flag and what we say here and around the rest of the world because that's what it is. It's an international trading flag around 250 countries in the world. That's what I'm saying. We have that online on our Facebook. Four, make Sony England Wales standing by yourself uh, in, your, in your ship of Admiralty. Um, um, Boris? Um, law of the sea, 
with only two paddles. England paddle, one paddle, and Wales the other paddle. Two paddles. Uh, whereas John Key over here has got a ship with no paddles. We've got the paddles. We've got the paddles with the hapu and the chief. Five. Britain and the UK is still holding the legal um, legal authority of King of England, King of King of Britain, UK, and King William IV's Admiralty Laws of 1830 to 1837. We still apply. We still have the use. We, there's no one can touch this. <coughs> Boris and Theresa, no one can touch those laws that we hold on to since 1834-1835. So we are applying those laws from Waitangi Marae, Kimi, Marae, Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court in the Bay of Islands here. We are in a private contract with you, Britain, UK, Westminster Parliament and Government and military and Navy. Okay? I made you aware of still current, it's still current, as the only commercial trading bank of England, King's flag in the world, that will take Britain, UK, on a free passage, it's a free passage through the world flag, through the world, if we now team up with you and make trade straight away. Okay, so that's what I'm looking at, number five. The, que the Queen's... Um, The Queen's common people and natives here, the, the, the Queen has abandoned the natives here on a Treaty of Waitangi agreement and exited for the EU with Pope Francis, Protestants and Catholic Church politics now saturated in war and trying to control the world through stealth, alienation, war-induced politics. So I'm just saying there, number five, that the Queen has abandoned ship and gone into EU Parliament as a conflict of interest with our business between us here and the contract, private contract, defaulted. She has, she's in a defaulted contract with her Maori iwi here, and in a defaulted contract against the King and the Hapu Chiefs. Two different contracts. Two different contracts. John Key's contract is the Queen, the Governor General, and his made homemade Iwi Maori tribe. That tribe doesn't belong to the Hapu and the King. Okay? This Hapu and the King is an older title than 1840 treaty with John Key. Now it's just 1834 when it first came here from Britain, 182 years, and 181 years to the 1835 Declaration of Independence flag that came a year later. Okay, so that's why I'm saying the two different contracts. This is private, that's not in our Admiralty. Okay, that's the Vice Admiral of John Keyes. That's what we're billing as levy debtors, and this is the levy creditor. We're going to square the bill up against the Queen, who is in conflict on England's soil, land. We have the right as your partner to shut her down and remove her martial law off Obama's use in America. She inadvertently owns America. We're going to seize America back into British Westminster government because we are the contract partner to do that with this flag. This flag is everything. Okay, so that's what I'm saying about the difference in our authority to Admiralty use as us being active. We are activated ourselves as business operating partners to you, the British military, to recover all the debts from the Queen, the Pope, Catholic Church, the City of London, Rothschild Banks, and Washington DC, the Queen's Company, Federal State of America, United States of America, Rothschild Companies, and also the NATO, the United Nations, and Queen 
Victoria Trust. Spain, trustees, King and Queen of Spain, and Prince Andrew, and Queen Elizabeth II, head of the state of our Queen Victoria Trust, sees that. British military, I'm ordering you to seize that on this number five queen compounded all that authority from a king and her coronation is fraud, it's fact. She's not a coronation, only King William the Fourth and Queen Victoria is a coronation, a true coronation on British soil land. Okay? So we have the right to make decisions for Britain as your third partner to replace Scotland and the Scottish rights and Ireland, the threat outside of Westminster Parliament and the land of England. My Rogan family is England and my Irish family is Cosgrove, is on the other side in Ireland. Okay, number six. I want to use our King William the Four Admiralty Jurisdiction Constitution flag, 1835 Constitution flag, Declaration of Independence State of Emergency flag. It's a state of emergency flag, sovereign authority over this country, New Zealand. So I'm putting a state of emergency here that there's threats looming by this Joe Biden coming here to bring his laws from the Queen around the back door. America that she illegally owns America to bring the law around here on top of us because she can't come here direct straight to us with this flag okay that's the offense that's that's offense of a Jesuit she's a Jesuit the oath of the Jesuits oath you read it I've got it online on my Facebook site just type in on my Facebook site Jesuits oath and it'll come up and read it I'm sticking them to it as threatening people and conflict of interest of the Queen. Boot all out of off England's land, out of it. Or hang it, hang it. That's what people say, hang it. For treason. Okay? All these people are in treason. Uh, Boris, we're going after them for the sake of England. Uh, Facts or authority. Uh, commission, uh, the Queen, you share the powers of the King. She's usurping the powers of the King, Britain, UK government, as a threat against national security and conflict of interest to citizens of Britain and New Zealand Pacific Islands while in transition of power from EU back to Britain, UK. She's taking the trust funding out of Britain, HM Treasury Trust, His Majesty Treasury, in His Majesty's Court, King's Bench Court into EU Parliament. So there's money gone missing. We're going to go after that, Boris. We're going to go after that foreign politics. Seven, we have two contracts here in New Zealand. I've just explained it, of law. One is the Treaty of Waitangi, 1840, Treaty of Waitangi between Iwi Maori um, and the Crown, Crown, um, Crown Corporation, Queen of Brussels in England. She's still the Queen of England, but not the King. Queen of Britain, UK. She is the Queen of Britain, but we nominate King William, King Ernest Augustus I as the true legitimate King of Britain, UK, Hanover, Otia, New Zealand, as the right to King William IV's inheritance and flag of Admiralty Court Martial Law. Commercial Treaty Bank of England Law of Contract private law. Okay, so that's our oath of office, office to him. Eight, this is your uh, area of foreign policy that is my own native policy of energy and land titles, indigenous native private lands control under the 1835 Declaration of Independence with King William IV. Nine, I wish to reassert this commercial flag and the Malay King William IV pound note with British UK government to trade with it on international politics currency 
uh, money, political currency money, is a regional pound note. On a par with you, with your law, and on a par with us, with the flag here, and the pound note. Okay, the value will be similar value for the meantime, because it'll go up as time goes by. Our pound note is different to that pound note. Ten, we can control our pound note between us and Britain. I wish to meet with you here in New Zealand or in London, um, Boris, um, um, Boris um, Johnson, as soon as possible that you have a new Prime Minister, Theresa May, I, I wish to meet her too, and I wish to meet the military, um, Secretary of Defence, um, Michael Fallon, I've written to him before, um, a, a letterhead letter from us, the Chiefs, and the, from the Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court, and me, the Sheriff of that court, okay, and credit. Okay, so um, to him and to Sir George Zambales, um, uh, Rear Admiral, um, Chief of Navy, and also to Sir John, uh, Sir Nicholas Horton, um, Chief of uh, uh, Military, Army, uh, as being our partners, protectorate under the flag of the black strip around the red, the red cross in the corner. So that's Westminster, and the other one is supposed to be the Vatican. Okay, we're taking that Vatican off them. We're removing their use of authority to the Admiralty forthwith. I was not, um, I was not a supporter of Theresa May, but Andrea Ledson is my choice. This appears to be more on what the people and I know following you are uh, the people. Um, I mean the, the decision of what people say, okay? You'll find that later that that's the case because Theresa is heavily involved with EU. So that's the area of politics I'm getting into, how you're going to integrate the EU contracts. This is a contract flag, Boris and Theresa. The military, this is a military flag. This is a military contract, private contract flag that says nobody's business but ours. No one can inquire into this flag. In 250 countries, as soon as we get into other countries, it applies. No one can inquire into that. It's private. Same as any monarch. This is a monarch flag. I'm a monarch of native origins of Maui statue standing in London. That's my title. Teresa and Boris and the military, Navy. That's my title. Maui statue standing in London. My Tahitian, Wanoa, People's Memorial title, inheritance, monarch, sovereign. Okay? That just makes us sovereign. This flag makes us our own sovereign. 182 years on, unbroken, and in contract with you. Okay? 11. John Key is liable for the Panama tax havens, fraud, and corruption and he's been caught out, allowing this to happen on our native lands. That's the offence here, credited back to our bank account from his bank account, personally, and every other agent of the Crown Corporation's bank accounts will be billed with the pound note, Boris and, and Theresa May. We pay the military, the British UK military, from that pound note. As soon as I write that pound note against Cook Street, 77 Cook Street, to build back 2.5 billion, back from the assets of that and trillion pounds on each of their heads, of those owners and everybody else that tampered with our information between us and you, and the chiefs here, to you, Britain, it's our business to recover it. Okay, that's what I'm saying. It wasn't going to take too much to make trade that way pretty easy then you going around Boris around all the other countries and making trade. We'll make trade with fraud from the use the misuse of this flag, including the Pope's misuse and abuse of our flag. It's not hard to work out that well. Okay, everybody be screaming in to sign up. 
and watch what happens for us when we get together. So you watching this video, open the way for me to come to England. Now, straight now, my chiefs are ready to go and into business. They're ready to go to the United Nations right now. I'm there as their legal advocate, customary native legal advocate, and to the World Court in Brussels and the Hague. They're ready to go there into the Swiss Bank to inquire into the lost treasures and her inheritance from what the Queen has done with our account. Okay, they seize that account. The Queen Victoria Trust and the Queen Victoria Trust Gold Fund that's missing all over the world. In Indonesia, Thailand, Hawaii, all the places the Queen has hidden the gold will be found and brought back by the British military and paid with this pound note, the Maui King William IV pound note, the Maui King William IV political party in Britain and here. Okay, so I'm saying these things graphically because I'm annoyed with the Jesuits and the Pope screwing people's lives and causing lots of damage to people and economies and to their trade. They're upsetting the whole world, the whole weather pattern, the whole sky, water, food, everything. They are the ones that are devilish in their approach to us. 11. John Key is liable for Panama tax investigations and um, the Confederation of Chiefs have a world court through Going to the World Court and me as the legal advocate. Oh, I've said that. The sheriff, I've said that. Kingi Tauru, chief of the Waitangi King's Bench Court, we've been through and opened that up for business on the 15th of March 2015 this year. Okay, so we headed off today, the 16th of July 2016. The New World Order kicks in today uh, with Pope and his Jesuit orders with all this mafia. Muslim stuff going on that's fraud, straight fraud and corruption, right through the churches, and we will remove them out of the churches and give the churches back to the people with their flag. Okay? The people want their church back. They want these villains out of it. These thugs taken out, one by one, pulled out. Okay? We'll go and investigate everybody right through the world that's using this flag for fraud and corruption of Admiralty Law, Marshal. I am contesting the Queen's title ownership with the King's title ownership. I'm going there as surrogate King to your country, Boris, and to install King Ernest, Ernest Augustus V as the King of Britain, UK, Hanover, Commonwealth of the World, Legitimate King of Britain, UK. Okay. 